You want to learn how to make a dazzling DIY brooch bouquet? Well, in this video, I'm sharing my super simple three-step process for making a dazzling brooch bouquet, just like this one, coming up. Hi, I'm Natalie from totallydazzled.com, where we help you celebrate with sparkle by providing all the rhinestone wedding supplies you need. And on this channel, we share all our best DIY wedding tips, tricks, and tutorials. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And don't forget, at any point in the video, you can reference the description box below where I've listed out all the supplies I'm using in this video. So, for today's video, I'm going to share with you my three-step process for making a gorgeous brooch bouquet with no trouble at all. Let's get started. Let me show you the supplies we're going to need for this project. The first thing you'll need is a styrofoam ball. I'm using a half ball for this project and this is a 5.7 inch styrofoam ball. Next, you will need um, some paint and some glitter to match the color of your brooches. So today's bouquet is rose gold, so I have some rose gold metallic paint, glitter, a little plate to hold the paint, and a foam brush. You will need a wooden dowel for the stem, some ribbon to wrap it up with. You'll also need a Sharpie, a knife, some wire cutters, and scissors. Today we're going to incorporate some feathers at the request of one of our viewers. Uh, Spiritual Eyeliner left a comment on our last bouquet, brooch bouquet video asking for one that incorporated feathers, so this one's for you. And last but certainly not least, we need a gorgeous assortment of rhinestone brooches. These are part of the brand new uh, rose gold collection from totallydazzled.com and I will link the card up here above in the corner. Uh, you can click on that little eye anytime for a direct link to where you can find these exact brooches and I'll also list it in the description box below. So let's get started with step one. So step one is going to be painting and prepping your styrofoam ball. So what we want to do is paint the styrofoam ball and again if you're doing a gold bouquet you want to use gold metallic paint, silver, silver paint, rose gold, rose gold paint. And I like to just use a little plate like this um, to hold my paint. And a foam brush works really well. So we just want to load up our brush here and just get this whole thing covered. Um, because there are little um, holes and gaps within the brooch bouquet. So you don't want the white from the styrofoam ball showing through, which is why we get it all painted. And then, once you have it all covered in paint, the next step that I really like to do, just again to get a really seamless blend between the foam ball and the brooches, is to add some glitter. This just adds to the sparkle and you know makes it extra glam and glitzy. So while the paint is still wet, you wanna just sprinkle the whole thing with glitter, and then when it dries, the glitter will be dried within the paint. So that is step one, and I can show you the finished painted ball looks just like this. Now on to step two. Step two is getting your stem ready. Um, so to get the stem ready, what you wanna do is um, put your dowel on the bottom of your ball, and then trace it out with a, with a Sharpie, like this all the way around, and then use your knife to cut away at it. I've already done this one, but I, you end up with a big hole just like this. And then, first we have to wrap our dowel because a wooden dowel wouldn't look so good. So we're going to cover it in this beautiful white ribbon. And what you wanna do first is to just cut a little square to cover the end and then put a little glue around the edges here. Fold that all up, just like that. Okay, so now the end is gonna be hidden. We don't have to worry about this end because that's gonna be going inside the ball. And then what we wanna do is take our ribbon, and I'm using a one and a half inch wide uh, white satin ribbon, but you can use any ribbon color of your choice, but I do think a one and a half inch or close to that works well. 
And then you want to just wrap, go around and around and around a few times, especially if you're using a lighter color like white. Um, you might need to wrap it a couple of times just so that the wood of the dowel is nicely hidden. When you get to the top, you're going to want to secure it with more hot glue. And don't worry about the top being really super perfect because, like I said, it will be hidden within the ball. Now it's time to insert it in our ball. So what we want to do is use a ton of hot glue. And I'm using my favorite glue gun, which is a dual melt, high, low temp glue gun. It's perfect when you need a really strong hold. And I'm using the matching dual melt um, glue sticks. And this is, just came from my local Home Depot. It was very affordable and it's a great glue gun for crafting. So you need really like an excessive amount of glue. All right, and now you need to give it a few minutes to dry and make sure that the hold is really nice and tight. Now, at the request of one of our viewers, we are going to um, cover the base of this bouquet in a feather boa. Now, I've just cut the feather boa, but it's just a feather boa, which you can find at a craft store, dollar store, they're kind of everywhere. Um, and what I'm going to do once this is dry is just glue it all around the base of the styrofoam ball. It's pretty easy and I've tested a few different methods and I definitely find that the feather boa is the easiest and it also turns out the most beautiful um, rather than doing individual feathers. And if you didn't want to actually incorporate feathers, what you can do is make some ribbon um, petals or leaves and you just you do that just by making a little loop like this and then gluing it to the underside like that just to make just to cover the the base just like that so if you don't want to do feathers um, that is a good option for you but today at the request of our viewer we are incorporating some feathers and I think it looks really glam Whoop. all right so as this is drying, it's not quite dry yet, so I definitely recommend waiting, but just for the sake of the video, we're gonna get started. So start on the inner part closest to the stem, and then take your boa and just wrap it. I just wanna take a nice end here. Wrap it all around by pressing into the glue. like this okay and then we want to do the outer edge so you need to put some glue along the outer edge here of the ball and I like to work in smaller sections for the outer piece just so that your um, glue doesn't get hard while you're working Okay, so that's pretty much our base. And when you're done, you can kind of um, play around with the feathers a little bit so that they're all kind of floating in the direction that you want. And if there's any long ones that are just kind of looking a little silly, it's very easy to just kind of trim them up with your scissors and get it even and get it looking the way that you want. So that is the end of step two. Now on to step three, which is the most fun, adding our bling. So for this part of the process, I really like to use a, a vase to sit the bouquet in. That way I have two hands to work with um, when I'm adding the bling and the sparkle. So the first step of um, adding the, the sparkle is going to be to clip off any backings. So some of the pieces will have you know, brooch pin backings, all you need are a little pair of wire cutters and the backings come off really easily with just a little pinch and clip, just like that, okay? So these ones are all done. They're ready to be glued on. So now that the backing is clipped off, we're ready to start gluing the pieces onto the foam ball. This is the super fun and exciting part. Now what you wanna do is start with your larger pieces and cover the whole thing in larger pieces. And then what's gonna happen are there's, there's gonna be some smaller um, gaps between the large pieces. That's where you wanna layer on top a smaller piece just like this one to fill in the gaps. So let me show you how that's done. We're going to use our glue gun and add some glue to the outer edge of our brooches. 
and you want a lot of glue here and you want a really strong high low temp glue gun like this one. The brooches are metal, they're heavy and you want to make sure you get a really strong hold. So load it up with glue and then push it in, give it a nice little hold and you should have a nice strong bond. Now we'll take another one of our larger pieces and glue that in. Just like that. And you want to just keep going, keep covering, layering, building. And it's nice to have a variety of sizes. You want small, medium, and large size brooches. Um, that gives you the best variety and allows you to do the best job of covering. So now you can see one of these little gaps that I'm referring to. You want to use one of your smaller pieces to fill that in. Although I would cover the whole thing first with larger ones, I just want to show you how to fill in these gaps and just layer that right on top. And that covers all of the gaps in your um, brooch bouquet. So I'm just going to keep on layering and keep on building. All right, guys, here it is, the finished product. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous and sparkling. And best of all, we did it in just three simple steps. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'm Natalie with TotallyDazzled.com, where we help you learn to plan events that shine. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and grab our free download, 50 Ways to Bling Out Your Wedding. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.